How's it going, all you wonderful people of the internet? My name is Gamma Fox, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club, as they said, perfect timing right there, girls. Now, if you don't know what this game is, it is a visual novel, but also a psychological horror game. And that is what has made this game so popular. Beside its, you know, cute anime girl facade is a very spooky and psychological horror, like I said before, game. And that's what I'm looking forward to getting into. But either way, we'll get straight into it. And here is one thing I want to say before I start this. I have played this before. Not the whole game. Like the first 30 minutes of it. I recorded this before. I recorded it yesterday actually, but my audio didn't record properly. So I realized that I was just like, oh. And I, I got really mad because I was like, shit, now I'm gonna have to record the first 30 minutes of this game again. And I know what happens, so it's not gonna be as good for you guys. But either way, I'm still going to, you know, I'm, it's still a good game. I just I just I just know what happens in the first 30 minutes. So don't don't be surprised if I not surprised. If that, if that makes sense. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she- like, waving her arms in the air like she just don't care, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for, uh, known each other for so long, but yeah, this is a visual novel, so there's going to be a lot of reading, so I'm going to stutter a lot. I apologize. I'm not used to this. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would never, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and, and idle in front of the cross, cr the cross crosswalk, and let Sayori catch up to me. And there she is. <sighs> oh, what voice did I give her? I, I gave the girls different voices. Not like, I'm not very good at ch like doing feminine voices, but like, I changed my like tone of voice, if that makes sense. I'd be like, wait, how did I do her? I, like, she's really energetic. I overslept again. <laughs> I, I, I'm not good at it. I'm so sorry, guys. But I called up to you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you said it like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Cam. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> also, she does that laugh a lot. She goes, she does that, that anime girl, <laughs> you know, that they go, <laughs> like that. Do you guys watch a lot of anime? Because I do, and I, and I recognize it a lot. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our, way to make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cam, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. There is the Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content with just getting by on the average, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Perf- exact- it's exactly me and YouTube. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Oh, that is- that is adorable. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat? A neat? Yeah, see, I don't know what that was before when I read this either. What's a neat? N-E-E-T. What is that? I, 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 don't, I don't even know. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least pr promise you- Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> She's so cute. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Okay, so now we go to the school. The school day is, an, is, as, is, is as ordinary as ever, and it's almost o and it's over before I know it. Holy shit, I cannot speak. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime, hell yeah, anime club, that's the way. I actually, fun fact, fun Gamma Fox fact, I was part of an anime club when I was at uni. And what we do, every, I think it was every Tuesday or Thursday, I can't remember, we go to a specific room and we watch a random anime. And it was great, fun times. Hello? Sayori? 
Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Oh, oh why, thank you. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you too late to wait too late, late to your own club. My apologies. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. <laughs> so cute. I love when girls do that. that, that, that like, at, well, well, I don't know if real goos, go, go, goos, real goos do that thing. They're like, like you know, because I see a lot of anime girls do it and it's freaking adorable. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Oh, that's right. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> no surprise there. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. Good job, friendo. And Natsuki, Natsuki made- I love Natsuki. You're about to meet Natsuki and she's a Sundere? If you don't know me very well, I'm a big fan of Sundere girls. I don't know why, I just have a soft spot for them. I, it's, it's just weird, okay, don't ask why. And Natsuki makes- may, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one too. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> see, see, she, she did it again. She did that cute anime girl laugh again. Oh boy, it's not gonna be- you're gonna see that a lot. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an airhead, so... Wait, what? I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Okay, I, I did read that right, I thought I read it wrong. Or if she's so cunning to have all- to- as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so this this is where it gets interesting. And thus today marks the day I sold. Well, the thing is, I've only played like the first thirty minutes. It's only been ten minutes. But when I say interesting, you're gonna go why it gets interesting very shortly. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I de I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I really visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. And bon voila, we, be we meet a bunch of awesome anime girls. Watch this. Everyone, a new member is here. I told you, don't call me the, a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. And there's num girl number one! Well, okay, what voice did I give her? She's like really mature and like, like, just like calm. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, there she is. I love her. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, and her. Ah, Cam, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot, dot, dot. All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls, you don't say. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, she's blushing too. That's adorable. The girl with the sour attitude. The, 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 you mean the Sundere? Whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Wait, she... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like, I forgot that. <laughs> I just recorded this yesterday. What the fuck? You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuke. Natsu Natsuke. Natsuki. Always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Oh my. D don't say things like that. Wait, I did a voice. D d don't say things like that. She seems like the type to have that, like, really soft calm, like, mature voice. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, uh, there you go, exactly, that's actually the reason, that's how I came up with her voice when I read that, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right, yeah. It's great to see you again, Cam. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh, that's cute. We do know each other. Well, I, we really talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Oh, god damn it, every time. Pretty sure all these girls are out of my league too. That, 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 that's a big problem. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... 
Y you too, Monica. Oh, okay. I did not finish that sentence. Come sit down, Cam. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. <laughs> hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. The oh, I keep forgetting how to do a voice. Then, how about I make us some tea as well? Okay. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori already mentioned, it's, the, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk, walk, walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> I love that. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy, a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whistles are drawn in with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute, so kawaii! See, I'd like to point out, I know how like cute and cuddly this seems considering it's an anime visual novel, but trust me, I know about this game. I know like, I, I, know, I know nothing about it except for like the next 10 minutes of what happens, but I know this gets really freaky and one thing that I'm really curious about is how it gets freaky, like what the horror part of it is, and that's that's why I'm trying to get into this as much as I can. Like I don't like I'm not used to this kind of thing. I don't do visual novels, but I do like them if they have an awesome twist to get all spooky, and that's why I'm trying to get really into this right now. So kawaii, I say kawaii. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> oh, she did the anime laugh. Ha ha ha! I knew it. Well, wait, no, yeah. Natsuki said that. I thought that was Sayori talking. Huh. Okay. 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 They, they can, yeah, okay. Oh. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica and I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and, already, and had, has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She is waiting for me to take- is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this from somewhere before? That- yeah, cause- yeah, this guy watches anime, and in Sundere is an anime trope, it's a, a stereotypical personality of an anime girl. Of course you have! <laughs> made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said- well, maybe it's not for y you, you know, dummy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so cute. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic to and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Oh, I ran out. I nearly ran out of breath. Then, goddamn. You keep the whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> now Monica's doing the anime laugh. What the frick? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, th that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. Oh, I, I mean, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy. T uh, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Oh, she's blushing too. That's adorable. Yuri faintly smiles into herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any other major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Ah, <laughs> well, you know, that's a different. That, she didn't go, eh, hey, hey. She went, aha, that's, that's different. Okay, okay. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics uh, around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity on, on and how to prepare events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. 
Yuri, Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be really hard to- it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when, it, when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festival, like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow in this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! <laughs> That's perfect. There's a perfect replies for each of them. Each of their personality types. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Cam, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, manga? Considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, yeah, that's right, yeah. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh? Does she like manga? It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke thinking without- wait, I spoke without thinking about seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the, the rim of her teacup with her fingers. <laughs> My favourites are usually, usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Like me? Stories of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so de can be so deliberately can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ooh, oh, wait, wait, is it? Is this? No, no, wait, no, no horror stuff starts. I can't remember it starting. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock, yeah. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is very often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... She wants to be different. Oh, the Sunday stereotype. Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. <laughs> Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? W what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... D don't say it out loud! <laughs> and give that back! <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> ah, she did, she did the love. Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Like seriously, look at her face. It's so adorable. Like if that's not the face of a Sunday girl, I don't know what isn't. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Oh, that's adorable. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share? Why don't you share them sometime? N no, <laughs> I, I love it. I love it so much. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident. Not the, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is the writer is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable and sh enough to share hers. Oh, <laughs> look at her face. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzi- 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 quizzically- quizzi- is that a word? Quizzically at Monica? Okay. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll sh- Ooh, something just flew in my face. What the frick? There's a big bug flying around. It's right there. 
Shoo, don't fly in my face, thank you. I'm trying to do something now. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Huh... Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> I love Sayori's enthusiasm. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Cam? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made the decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. Oh, they're all sad. Oh, man, that's... that's my, my heart, my heart can't take it. Isn't it awfully convenient that this literature club is full of, like, unique girls that are all interested in me? I think I, I think I know where this is going, but not in a good way. Like, when the horror element comes into it, will I have to, like, choose one of them? That's worrying. The one thing that made me really interested to play this game was the horror element of it, right? Because I've never d really done a visual novel before. So I, this, what makes me keep reading, getting into this is the fact there's going to be a big twist somewhere. And I'm really excited for that. But at the same time, I'm kind of enjoying this. Because, like, it's the fact that I don't know what's going to happen, you know. And it is, quite a, it is a bit funny. And these girls are all kind of cute. So that, that's a bonus. All four girls stare back at me with de dejected eyes. Oh, but, but I'm sorry. I thought... Hmm. <laughs> Cam, you, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision of when it's like this? What if... Uh, what if, That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. There it is! There it is! I was waiting for that. I, I knew it. The motivation to join this club is to get with all these chicks. I freaking knew it. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join a literature club. One by one, the girls' eye, the girls eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. That's so cute. H hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came here for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. <laughs> that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem and bring the next meeting. We can and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over, me, over at me once more. Cam, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eh, <laughs> she did she, 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 the anime laugh. Uh, they do that a lot. And it kind of worries me. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Cam, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore, but because she always stayed um, after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> She's cute, man. She's adorable. Yay! The, the freaking she. Okay, so you got Sayori, the really like hyperactive one. Like, yeah, yeah. Hi she, the really hyperactive and adorable one. Then you got Yuri, the really mature and, and, you know, grown <laughs> girl. <laughs> I was trying to think of like a really good word to use. She's like the mature, like. You know, she's she's tall, she got the biggest boobs, you know, that, that that stereotype, you know what I mean? Then you got little Natsuki, who's the Sundere, who is adorable also. Well, she's adorable because she's a Sundere and she gets all bashful. And then you've got Monica, the really intelligent one. So you got you got you got all the common, you know, um, you know, what, what, what's the word? Personality tropes of anime characters. So I think what this game is doing is to make you get really invested in the girls or like to make you interested in them, I guess. But then it's gonna flip that around, and I'm looking for—I'm really looking forward to that. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. See, see, I knew it, I knew it. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. So, see what the game's doing here, and I find that really interesting because I know there's a horror element to it, but finding it and seeing how the game manipulates it through the girls and you is going to be really interesting, you know? And this game has really high reviews. It's a really well-known game. That's what made me interested in it, you know? So I read up about it, and that's why I'm playing it now, and I'm glad I am, because I can see I'm catching on to what this game's doing, and I'm really, I'm really, I'm really curious, you know? 
Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? I'm pretty sure you will with four girls like that, man. I'm pretty sure. Perhaps I have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh. Wait. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, and this is where I ended the episode. Yeah, I ended it right before I started a poem. Okay, so this is where I left off. But we have to make a poem, so... I have to impress a girl, right? So I have to make a, uh, do I have to make a poem spe specifically for their personality? Uh, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just pick the words that I like the most. Like here, uh, I like, um, hmm, what's the, I like, I like fantasy. That's a good word. See, but yeah, I'll do this all in the next episode. Anyways, that's the first episode of the Doki Doki Literature Club. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Can't wait to find out how this turns into a spooky, scary, you know, horror situation you could say because it is a psychological horror game need to I need I there's a freaking bug flew in my webcam I don't know if you guys saw that but a big bug just went you see this right what the frick go away where do these bugs come from thank you so much for watching and as usual I'll see you all in the next episode have a good one guys